Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY project of mine. So today's DIY is going to be of Dulce Gabbana embellished boots. Now I'm really excited for this because I had wanted to make these boots for such a long time. So the Dulce Gabbana embellished boots that I'm going to recreate and I'll show you in a minute are from the Ottoman Winter 2015 collection I believe on the run. So before I go any further I'm going to insert a picture right here to show you exactly what boots I'm talking about, what they look like so you can get a rough idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to insert it just now. So as you can see they're gorgeous boots, they're really diamante or diamond embellished boots. They cost around £600 to £900 at the minute. Um, yeah, so they're absolutely gorgeous boots but I can't afford to actually buy them. So I looked closely at them, you know, I looked at the, the rhinestones and the diamantes and the embellishments that's on them and thought it would be quite easy to recreate. So I'm now going to show you the boots that I have styled. So this is them here. This is my take on the Dulce Gabbana embellished boots. So yep. Yeah, Yes, yeah, so this is them here and I couldn't be more happy with them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They're really statement boots. Um, I'll just hold one up so that it's easier. So I think these boots that I've created are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are very, very, very similar to the Dulce Gabbana ones, like the real ones. Um, now, I got all my rhinestones and diamantes from ebay and um, which i will talk to you about in a minute i'll tell you exactly every, every rhinestone and embellishment that i got that you need to recreate these boots but first of all the boots that i have are from new look and they are faux suede material they were 25 pounds and the heel on it is it's about an inch or so smaller than the real dulce gabbana ones which is a bit of a shame because because of that um i had to take away part of the design on the back of the heel to sort of fit it in to fit the kind of design into this size of heel and um, but it's very minor but um yeah that's what i had to do and the sole of my shoe is black whereas the Dulce Cabana ones are beige so there is some slight differences and also my boot here has a slight a uh, platform here but as i said my boots were on 25 pounds and they're from new look and they're full suede so there obviously is going to be some slight differences in the boots and um, but yeah this these do have a zip on them anyway as well like the Dulce Cabana ones just it doesn't have a go but but again they're very very similar I searched and searched for boots that are really similar to the Dulce Cabana ones um, and obviously I couldn't find any so these were the closest ones that were very very similar so these were just yeah with the heel and the heel on it as well is actually like a faux suede material as well like the ones that the Dulce Cabana have as well they have like a faux suede on the heel it's not plastic or you know that shiny stuff on the heel it is part it is like suede on the heel as well so I wanted to make sure that the boots that I did get had suede on them so that so that the rhinestones and embellishments would stick to the heel really really well so I don't think these ones are available anymore in New Look I did just look the other day there and they weren't available but what I will do is leave some similar boots if I can down below in the description box for you once it's very similar. But I would say if you have a look at H&M, River Island, ASOS, and but don't, don't go too dear for them obviously because we're wanting to make these on a small kind of budget. Because as I said, mine's were £25. So look for something around £25, mark, £30 mark maybe at the most. Depending exactly, if you get ones that's exactly like the Dulce Gabbana ones and they're maybe a tiny bit dearer, then yeah, go ahead and get them. But yeah, because they're making this on a smaller budget, then yeah, try and get kind of less priced shoes. So I think these are absolutely gorgeous and they're really easy for you to recreate yourself. So I'm just going to now talk you through all the embellishments and rhinestones that you will need for this DIY project. So these are all the embellishments and rhinestones that you will need for this project. Um, I got all mine from eBay UK. I don't know whereabouts in the world you'll be watching this video, but I will leave the names of all the rhinestones and their sizes in the description box for you. So wherever you are in the world, then you can get them in your local craft stores or on your eBay that you know of. I will leave, leave all the names of all the rhinestones and embellishments that you do need for this project. I'll leave them in the description box for you. So I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail of all the rhinestones and embellishments that you need for this project. I'm just going to go into detail and show you them and tell you all about them. So guys, here's an overview of all the rhinestones you will need. There are six in total, but I am going to talk to you about them individually. The first rhinestone you'll need here at the top are around 30 clear resin Rivoli rhinestones. Uh, in a size 12 millimeters. Now you need to make sure these have a pointy top. So I'm going to show you what I mean by a pointy top. 
So this is what I mean by a pointy top because if you do look closely to the real Dolce & Gabbana boots, they do have pointed tops, these clear round resin ones. So I'm not going to talk to you about all the rhinestones you do need but as you can see on the screen this is all of them here and the sizes you will need. Now please feel free to pause the screen so that you can take note of all the rhinestones you will need in their sizes but again they will be in the description box for you. So we'll also need six lengths of Rondell faceted crystal class beads. Now these come on a chain and these are four millimeters by three millimeters and they are in the shade beige. So as I said you will need six lengths of this chain. Now the reason why this is because we actually break some off the chain and place onto the individual clear rounded rhinestones that's on the heels as well. So moving on to the little flower embellishments on the boots. Now you can use any style of flower you like but I prefer these little ones here that I have. These are rose flowers and they are flat back resins. Now I got these in any shade, That this one here is purple, but I got these in any shade and I just painted them with a little gold paint pot which I will show you in a little minute. Um, so yeah, you can get these in any shade you want and paint them gold. You get a size 10 to 12 millimeter of your little flower embellishment. So some other bits you will need for this project is some fabric glue, which is a high performance fabric glue that will stick to suede. So this mega fix super glue is optional. I didn't use this for much of my boots, but if you prefer this glue, then you can go ahead and use this one. And you also need this little email color paint pot if you do decide to paint your little flowers that you get in case you can't get them in the shade gold. And then you need a pair of tweezers just to pick up the rhinestones and place onto your heels. So now you know all the rhinestones and embellishments you need to recreate these Dolce & Gabbana boots. I'm now going to just go into detail of the design, like how to start designing them from scratch. So here are my boots from scratch. Here is with no rhinestones on whatsoever and I'm just going to start showing you how I designed the heels. So I started off in the centre of my heel just to make everything symmetrical and turn out evenly. So I started off in the, the centre and I started off with the clear round ones right in the centre and then I worked my way around the boots. So I went from this round clear ones to the champagne marquise horse eye ones and then back to the round silver one, eh, the round clear ones again and then the horse eye champagne once again and just worked my way around the boot as you can see here. Feel free to pause the video in case you want to see exactly where to place the boots when you're designing them yourself. So working my way down the middle of the heel I went from the silver air uh, the clear one which I stated at the beginning there then to the pale round one and then to a clear horse eye one to the flower and etc and then what I did after that is place the clear horse eye ones around in a flower shape around the actual embellished flower in the middle to create the little flower look. So here's how both heels look designed so far. Now moving on to the tricky part which is using the rondelle beads and placing them onto the heels. This is by far the most trickiest part of this project. If you can get someone to help you with this part because, because they can hold the boot while you place the chain on the heel. So we're taking that rondelle chain and we're placing it in a C shape between the clear round resin at the top and curve it round to the second from the right clear horse eye resin. So you need to make sure you've tied the knot on both ends of this rondelle chain so that the beads don't fall off when you're trying to place it on and you will need to use your fingers to keep to hold it in place while the glue dries. So as you can see I've done the exact same on the bottom half here by placing the rondelle chain between the clear horse eye resin down to the round clear resin. So as you can see I've just left the excess wire from the chain hanging in out until the glue completely dries and then I'll cut it away. So from this stage I actually jump to cutting the little individual beads off the rondelle chain and placing them onto the clear round resins as you can see here as I'm turning the boots round. So here I went back to doing the rondelle chain part and I just did what I did on the right side of the heel to the left side. I did the exact same on the other side and yeah. 
So here I place a strip of the rondelle beads at a slight angle between the clear horsite resin to the champagne resin on the edge of the heel. So I did the exact same on the other side with the strip of the rondelle beads at a slight angle. So I did that to the inner side of the boot as well and I did the exact same on the other heel too. Here's an overview of the completed design. Now please feel free to pause this video anywhere, anytime to see the design better. The design is very self-explanatory but I will have some close-up pictures on my blog for you to have a look um, if, you feel, if you feel that's a bit better to have some pictures at hand um, if you're designing your own boots then please feel free to go over to my blog. I will leave the link in the description box for you which is just jodiecocky.com. Yeah. So that is how I created my gorgeous Dulce Gabbana style boots. So I hope you liked this video and inspired to recreate the boots for yourself. I will have everything listed in the description box for you so you can check there and you'll know all the names of the beads, all the embellishments, the sizes and yeah I'll have some links down there for you too. Before I do go I just want to say that I created this headband from the Dulce Gabbana runway show a few years back. I created this lo lovely embellished headband which was when they had a lot of pearls out. So yeah I did create, recreate that a couple of years back and I absolutely love it. And as you can see the little flowers that's on this headband is the same ones that's in the middle of my heel there as well. I'll just pop that on for you so you can see. So this is what it's like on. I think it's really cute and gorgeous. It's something really statement as well. Really stands out and I think it's really gorgeous. Yep, and that's it for this DIY project. I'm absolutely in love with my boots and I want to thank Dulce Gabbana for the inspiration for me to recreate these gorgeous, gorgeous embellished boots. And I also want to thank you for watching this video and yep, hopefully you're inspired to recreate them for yourself. Please give it a massive thumbs up this video if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and you want to see some more DIY projects. That would be great and yep i really hope you liked this video enjoy it and i'll speak to you very soon in my next video bye Mwah.